Oh, my name is Gary Ford. I participated in this first vintage race at Watkins Glen in 1973. And for several more years, uh, they ran vintage races as prelims uh, the day before the U.S. Grand Prix. Uh, that year I was driving being this Lola Mark I, uh, 1100 cc Climax powered car. Uh, that's my wife in the car sitting there with me before we actually go out to race. The Maserati, Cycle Fender Maserati, was a very rare car, one and a half liter from about 1948. They only built a few of them, and that was probably the only one that was ever in the United States. The number 30 D-Type Jaguar was sent over by J.C. Bamford, uh, who owns the biggest construction equipment company in England, has a huge collection of cars, and Murray Smith was his driver for that race and ended up winning the vintage race. The four and a half liter Talbot Grand Prix car was owned by Jerry Sherman, a longtime vintage enthusiast from uh, outside of Philadelphia. This is a uh, Healy Silverstone, and the driver uh, was affectionately nicknamed the Michelin Man because the way he looked in his driver's suit. The uh, chain drive Fraser Nash with the lady driver was owned by the Osbournes from uh, Novelty, Ohio. Uh, the Amel car is a special, which used an American uh, Model A Ford engine. It was a one-off special built before the war and is still being raced today. That's a Maserati Grand Prix car, early post-war. That's a, a Ferrari Tour de France owned by Bob Dusek from outside of Philadelphia. He has a huge collection of Ferraris. That's a X-Bill Spear 4.5 liter Ferrari. This is a Wayne Golem's 2 liter Maserati. Another Maserati sports car. An Oscar. There were a couple Oscars there. Another Oscar. And that's the Lola, my Lola Mark I, and that's the pretty little Maserati. MGTDs. Several, of course. Flyrad Morgans. A Talbot Coupe. An HRG, rear, rear English car. Healy Silverstone driven by the Michelin Man, a C-Type Jaguar, another MGTD, Bugatti, an early Porsche Coupe, another Bugatti, another Bugatti. Uh, that's a chain drive Fraser Nash, a Bentley, a 4 and a half liter Talbot Grand Prix car, an AC, a Sika, Crystal Coupe, another chain drive Fraser Nash, the Amel Car Special. There's another Lola Mark I, the yellow one there. That was uh, owned by uh, Joel Finn and driven by the late uh, Charlie Gibson. This is the start. Uh, the vintage cars were broken up into two groups, uh, post-war and pre-war, and they used a split start so that uh, all the cars were on the track at the same time, but they initially started out uh, pretty well separated. Now this is the beginning, the start of the pre-war group. As the race went on, the uh, faster post-war cars eventually started lapping into the pre-war field. So uh, as you watch the film a little further, you'll see the odd circumstance of a big Ferrari uh, being behind an old Bugatti, but that didn't stay that way for long. Because the big Ferrari is about to lap the Bugatti. These vintage races were held there for, I think, about five years, from 73 to about 78, and I did most of them.
My Lola Mark I uh, didn't have a practice time because something broke in practice, so I was started uh, just about at the back of the post-war uh, grid, but ended up uh, partly due to a lot of attrition, ended up third overall behind the E-Type Jaguar and a four and a half liter Ferrari. Uh, this was the main event on the vintage calendar in the East Coast at that time and uh, as, you, as you noticed uh, even drew an entry from England and uh, people from all over the country. It uh, predates the uh, races in California that Steve Earle has been running, the Monterey Historics. Uh, these races all took uh, place before that time. Uh, so this was really the top vintage race in the country. That's the two-liter Maserati Wayne Golem, one of the Oscars. Looks like the second Oscar. Well, the, one of the Oscars was driven by Judy Stropus, and uh, apparently Oscar had a crush on her because he seemed to film her more than anybody else. That's a Morgan Flat Rad, a Ferrari. I think that's the big four and a half liter car. That's a Maserati Grand Prix car. This is a rare MG K3 uh, magnet. A very valuable car today. It's probably fairly valuable then too. But today, an authentic MG K3 is very valuable. That's that uh, very rare Maserati. That's the two liter Maserati Wayne Gold. Another Maserati Grand Prix car, the Yamaha Car Special. A Bugatti. Fraser Nash. The big Ferrari. The D Type Jag. The little Maserati being passed by a Lola Mark I. Another Bugatti. Maserati Grand Prix car, <laughs> Ferrari 250F, passing a Hilly Silverstone, another Bugatti, The first year for a Can-Am 